Listen, I got a fun little challenge for you to do. You could do this in privacy, you could do this to yourself so you don't gotta worry about anyone knowing, right? Or you can even challenge yourself, and what I mean by that is you could put it out in the universe and hold yourself accountable. Like, for example, you can comment what you actually decide or what your answers are in the comment section below. And how that holds you accountable is you get to revisit this video, because I'm not gonna take it down or anything like that, Like, but you get to revisit the video, look at the comment and be like, man, this is where my mindset was. You know, technically you could do that with any of the videos, but in this particular video, we're gonna start off with, uh, with doing this real fun exercise, not a physical exercise. This is going to be, you know, an exercise that's going to help you open your eyes to something. And I think it's going to bring a tremendous amount of value to you. If currently you're finding yourself right now saying to yourself like, man, my time's going to come, man. Once this happens, bro, man, my time is going to come, bro. Like, uh, uh, or if you ever find yourself like, man, once this one thing happens, dude, I'm going to kill it. <laughs> I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it, baby mama. Look at me. I'm going to make it. But this thing has to happen. And if you find yourself with that type of dialogue happening right now, like there's something that, that needs to become your bridge in order to get to where you've been trying to go, where you've been working to go, or where you dream to go or are planning to go, and you have that one connection piece that you're in search of or you're just waiting on. And if you find yourself in that current state right now, then you got to try this exercise. So in this video, I'm going to help you understand how to start. And not only that, but I'm going to show you how to actually hit that goal. And I'm going to speak from experience because this is the exercise that I've used not only to hit my own sales goals, but my personal goals, my life goals, my family goals, and the goals to create the brand that you're watching today. So let's go. What's up everybody, welcome back to Sales Remastered. My name is Daniel and I'm your host. <laughs> and on this episode, as I just mentioned, we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with this real fun exercise. And you know, whether you're listening to me in route to work or you're listening to me in your headphones at work, I want you to think about something. And I know not all of you can comment below, but regardless, however you come up with these answers, I just want you to do this exercise because this exercise is ultimately gonna become your key to unlock what it is you want. And you might be like, yo, dude, that sounds too good to be true, boo-boo. And I'm telling you, it's not. It's really not. And um, and I know this because I've used this exercise time and time again to achieve my own personal goals and to basically unlock whatever was stopping me from achieving that one thing, whatever that one thing is, right? And you might be like, but D, uh, well, then how come you're not a billionaire then, D? Well, that wasn't necessarily my one thing. You know, it, it, it technically is not. I'm not trying to be a billionaire. Again, not everyone is trying to be a millionaire or a billionaire because when you get to that state, then what, right? Like, it, it needs to fit you. And so I, I believe that we are all uh, individual creatures, right? We're all individual people. We have this individuality about us that that has different rhythms and different grooves right like tomato tomato <laughs> like like whatever like what i think is cool you may not necessarily think is cool uh what i like to eat you may not necessarily like to eat to to an example right but in this particular case this one exercise is so versatile that wherever you are in life or wherever you are right now you know using this exercise it, it, that literally makes most common sense you might be like oh dude, that just sounds too simple it's never gonna work but wait till you try it so here's the exercise number one is i want you to to fill in the blanks all right and whatever you fill in the blanks i really want you to think this out like take your time and really think it out uh but but fill in the blanks with what comes natural and this is why i said you could do this privately you could do this you know quietly and off one off um, you know, because I don't want you to, to feel like you need to put out an answer that you that you think is right, <laughs> right? That you think that society will think you're a cooler person for doing. And here's the exercise. Basically write this out and then fill in the blanks. I will blank once blank happens, right? And so basically what it is is you're filling in the blanks of first off result or goal or destination is the first blank and then the second blank is the wall right like the the thing that's stopping you it's the anchor it's whatever's holding you back 
And so, because I know a majority of us are salesmen or loan officers, I, I, could, I could use an example that you're going to relate and then you can apply it to other things. So as a loan officer in today's market right now, you might be saying something like this. I will make $25,000 in a single month once the market comes back, once the rates drop, once we get this non-QM program, <laughs> right? There's whatever that, that bridge is. And you can apply it to other things. You could do it to maybe your own personal goals, right? Like, I will buy this house once blah, blah, blah happens. And I want you to understand that, again, depending on where you're at, you need to identify there are three ways to really look at that thing. That both things, actually. The, the result, the goal, the destination, and then also the bridge or the wall or the excuse, and those three things or those three ways to look at it, the most common way is the overthinking way, is the planning way. <laughs> and what I mean by that is overthinking, in my opinion, has, has been the killer of all dreams, has been the killer of all reasons to start you know, chasing your dream. And the reason for that is because we are, we are trying to plan so much so that we, that we want to avoid failure we want to avoid ridicule we want to avoid you know rejection and this happens to in any facet of your life you'll know you're overthinking because you're you're stuck you get stage fright and the, the basic solution to that is that you need to understand that in order to even know what it failure is you need to fail right you need to actually invite failure I want you to look at failure in a whole new different way. I want you to look at failure as the actual bridge to get closer to where you're going. So failure is gonna help you, whether you believe it or not. And it, the only purpose, the only reason why that's hard for you to accept is because you're too, you're too caught up with, with your image, your self-image. Like, in other words, you're too caught up in the opinion of others. And so here's the hack. You being so concerned with the opinions of others unfortunately is your anchor as to why you are not going to improve the quality of your life. In other words, you being so consumed by the perception and the thoughts and the, the judgment of others, unfortunately is going to deteriorate your quality of life. Not only your quality of life, boo-boo, but the quality of life of whoever's with you, your spouse, your, your boyfriend, girlfriend, you, your family, right? And it, it's true because if you are so consumed with being so worried about being who you are and taking that step, you are going to be so, I want to say artificial, that you're going to grow this resentment and it's going to brush off on everyone else around you. You're unfortunately not going to reach your full potential. So that's the most common way. And if, that, if that's something that you're doing, hey, hopefully you got a hack out of that. So the second way is is you know when you're when you're looking at your goal your desired result or your your dream destination and then you're looking at um you know your your wall or your excuse the the second common way to look at it is acceptance meaning that you believe it's true and here's the thing is that when when we perceive something it becomes our reality because what we believe is ultimately our reality does that make sense and so you know, for example, if you if you're currently right now saying like, "Hey, man, I'm gonna do this once this happens," and you accept it, then that can actually become your anchor because you are waiting. In all reality, you're just simply waiting. Like, so in other words, like, "Hey, man, I'm gonna be a millionaire once this happens," or "I'm a I'm a I'm gonna get this girl once this happens," or "I'm gonna be a top producer once this happens." And when you accept that and you don't actually take part on it and move on it, right? Like, cause, cause let me back up. Like acceptance is, sometimes can become an anchor and most of the time it is. Um, acceptance of an excuse is what I mean. Whereas acceptance of, of what your reality is, that's actually a good thing, right? Because you need to identify and become self-aware so that you can accept that your flaw or that your reason for using it as an excuse is ultimately what's holding you back. So that is a good acceptance. You see, there's two, I, 
you know, there's a sub, <laughs> there's a sub acceptance, I, I guess. There's an addendum. <laughs> so, but where I'm, where I'm getting at is I wanted to relate to everyone because a lot of times we accept the excuse as to why we're not yet getting that one thing. And, and when we do this exercise and we really think it out and say, man, you know, I don't, man, let me try it, man. Let me, let me just listen to D. Let's see if this actually works. You could write it out on paper. You could really, or you just put some thought to it. But when you, when you fill in those blanks, the absolute most important thing that you can do is, is make sure you're speaking from the heart. Make sure you, you, you say what's natural to you, not what you think I want to hear, not what you think your, your friend, your mom, your dad, your guardians, your grandma, you know, not your grandpa, whatever, whoever it is that you tr want to impress, whoever it is that you want to be cool to, you don't, you're not talking to them, you're talking to yourself. And see what happens when you talk to yourself is that there's this thing called self-awareness. And self-awareness is, is that one thing where your what, what I believe is your authentic self. Your authentic self is like when you go to bed at night and you're thinking to yourself like those thoughts, that's your authentic self. That you're not because you're not fronting on nobody. You have no reason to be inauthentic. <laughs> you're not trying to impress nobody. You're not trying to, you know, be fake or win someone's con like uh, uh, you know appreciation or anything like that. So you're being with yourself. You're in your head at that time, and that's going to be your most authentic self. So maybe you could do this exercise tonight. But I invite you to do this exercise because when you figure out what those two blanks are that's going to help you get to where you're trying to go. And I'm not saying that, you know, you're you're accepting the excuse as to why you're not reaching your destination. But what I am saying is that there are a lot of us who are not reaching our destination because we're accepting that excuse because we're waiting. And so that's the second way is just basically, you know, again it's it's overthinking or overplanning and then accepting, accepting in a bad way, like accepting like okay, then this has to happen, right? And then the third is denial. It's, it, it's basically denial to become self-aware. And so, for example, if you say, hey, man, I'm, a, I'm, I'm going to be a top producer once the market comes back or, once, or I'm going to make $10,000 plus a month in sales once we get this product or once we get this program. And ba basically what happens is that becomes your, your, own, your crutch, like, you know, your, your only bridge. And because you're in denial, meaning that you're, you're not in a position where you believe that you can already make it happen. You could do it right now. Like, like, you know what I mean? Like just be versatile, like make, make shift with what you have already in front of you. You know, you see, here's, here's, here's a good example. At the end of the day, no matter how much hoorah I put on this channel, no, how, no matter how many Tony Robbins videos you watch, no matter how many Gary Vid, you know, Vaynerchuk videos you watch, no matter how many inspirational books or inspirational movies or inspirational music you listen to, at the end of the day, you have to answer to yourself, right? Like no one's going to hold you accountable more than you can hold yourself accountable because you are the only one that's going to face the results of the actions that you're taking today. Only you are going to experience the quality of the life that you're building for yourself today. Does that make sense? And so my, my point here, my punchline here is that, that whatever your wall is or your excuse is, you have to understand that it's actually you. So that second blank is you, boo-boo. And so, and so in other words, how it should properly be filled out is saying, man, I'm a win at this one thing once I decide to. Or, man, I'm going to start my channel or start my business page or start my lead magnet or start to win and become the master of my craft once I choose to, once I decide to. You know, when you, when you take up full ownership and responsibility of, of, of why you're going to hit that destination or you own up and say, you know, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z once I decide to, or once I take action. That is going to be your, your fastest way of achieving that set goal. Bottom line, there's no way around it. And when you, when you accept this and you understand that it's not going to be that Tony Robbins video, it's not going to be that inspirational book, you know, as, 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 as much as I don't want to say it, it's not going to be that sales remastered technique. <laughs> what it's going to be, boo-boo, is you. It's your decision. It's your execution. 
Does that make sense? So I hope you try this exercise today. And I hope you tried the exercise before you figured out the answer and you figured out the punchline. But I want you to really be honest with yourself and try that exercise and then listen to the punchline and then really put it into place like, oh man, shit, that's right. Because I believe that that is going to be your booster. You see, it's not the market. It's not the rate. It's not the price. It's not the gym. It's not the image you see. It's not the diet that is going to be your unlock. Does that make sense? It, what, what's going to be your unlock is your why. It's your why you want to go to the gym. It's your why you want to see a better physique. It's your why you want to be successful. It's your why of why you want to make more sales. It is your why. And when you realize what your why is, your why has to be stronger than materialistic things though, boo-boo. Because mostly materialistic things like I want to trip to Fiji. I want to I wanna spend a, a, a week on the strip in Las Vegas. You know, it has to be stronger than materialistic things. You have to actually put it in a personal level. And so maybe you don't have a family, maybe you don't have kids, but if you do, those are the strongest why factors in you, that you could ever find because it's love. And love is the strongest thing next to fear, right? And, uh, but let's say if you don't have kids or family, what your strongest why will be is, is, is whoever it is that you want to make happy. And sometimes that could be, you know, your girlfriend. Sometimes it could be your uncle, your auntie, your your parents, your guardians, your grandparents. It could, it has to be for that. It do, it can't be for oh, I just want the coolest car. And if you're in a position where you don't necessarily need that, because you know, what I mean, like you got all the materialistic things in the world, you got all the great family in the world, and you don't necessarily need that, then then here's a fucking fun fact for you you're naturally going to become successful you're natural because you're already surrounded by it you're you don't know anything different and so the 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 second that you actually realize something that's that's below grade of your of your day-to-day -day living your your human instinct is going to kick you back into gear and be like yo something's wrong right and then you have to naturally adapt or get back to an, a, a scenery of adapting that's called survival and so anyway i don't want to get too deep on you but try that exercise today and if you right now are are at a point where you're just trying to start here's the best way to start you have to invest in yourself you just like if, if you're a loan officer right now and you're just like man you know and you've been saying a lot of these things and it makes sense and you find value Start by investing in yourself. Go to salesremaster.com. Start by downloading the sales script. Start by putting a couple bucks towards your craft because that becomes your unlock to do what you do every day at far better than what you are than the method that you're using today. It's a direct mentor to you. It's your unlock to achieve what it is you want. But here's the thing though, is 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 just like I had mentioned, there are three ways to look at that excuse as your as your reason why you can't reach it that excuse is going to be the same exact reason why you don't invest money in yourself today you, you know like you're going to be like oh but how much does it cost see you're you're, you're not seeing far enough <laughs> right like you're not seeing the big picture right um you know, number one is 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 if you're only seeing what's in front of you rather than what's ahead of you you're always going to be stuck by by that wall that's in front of you and typically that wall in front of you is how much time will it take <laughs> How much is this going to cost? But the, but see, here's the funny thing is that you're not thinking about that when you're at the bar, when you're going out with the homies, when you're dropping, you know, $100 for date night, right? You don't think about that then. Like, oh, how much is this going to cost, right? Or how much is going to, you, you're not necessarily thinking about it in the way that you should be when you invest in yourself. Like, what's my return? That's how you should think about it. And if your return on that one thing that you're investing in is a method to create more income or is a method to rid yourself of the heartache, the headache, and the grind that you face every day, then go all in, boo-boo, because that's the whole goal is how do I get better at what I do? So think about that today. Go to salesremaster.com, check out the products, look at the banker's formula to six figures, and download a copy of the sales script. But more importantly, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey. My team came from the bottom on the rise, yeah God, please don't get me lost in this ride, yeah Went to sleep, I had a dream of that fish scale Broke up, then put it right on the street at retail